Welcome back to ETV. The Canyon County Fair is here, and here's Sean McBride, the movie guy, with a little preview. Hey, welcome back to ETV. Now, look, we are getting into fair season here, and so the first one out of the shoots is the Canyon County Fair. And I'm joined by uh, Tim Lorber. He's uh, one of the board chairs here, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Canyon County Fair. And first question, Tim, what is it that makes the Canyon County Fair so special? Well, first off, it's right here in Canyon County, which is one of the, the heartland of the state of Idaho for agriculture. And uh, we, we have, there's something here for everybody, I tell you. If you cannot find something here to get excited about and inter interested in Canyon County, then we better check your pulse, because something's wrong. <laughs> okay, let me check my pulse. Okay, we're good. Okay. All right. What are the special events about this year's fair? What's different this year? Well, we've, we've got some new events this year. One of them is that is the Businessman's Ag Challenge, where we have area businessmen and businesswomen that are coming to, to see how they can do on farm-related chores. And we've got some tasks set up for them. Uh, anywhere from, from throwing some bells of straw in the back of a brand new, beautiful Ford pickup, donated by Dan Weevil Ford and Treasure Valley Ford stores. And then they're gonna see if they can huff some ears of corn, they're gonna see how they are on roping, and we're gonna see if they can uh, uh, milk a cow, and dress a goat. So there's going to be, we're going to have some fun with it. Another thing we have that's new this year is our hogs and mud. Huh? That's right, I said hogs and mud. Uh -huh. We're going we're gonna to get down and dirty this year. and That's been a real popular item over the fair over the last couple of years is, is our grease pig contest. Well, we're enhancing it this year with we're going to throw some mud into the mix and throw anywhere from kids to adults can get involved. We've got some challenges out there to, some, to make some teams, four-person team for some businesses. And... Uh, you get in an arena, we made an arena full of mud, and we're going to have some fun with it, and it's time-related, and there's a $100 cash prize for it. Very cool, and you can just sign up when you're at the fair? You can. There was pre-sign-ups uh, available, and but you can sign up up until 4 p.m. on Thursday afternoon. Cool. Now, talk about the music, because a lot of people think, uh, you know, fairs, they think uh, the big concert lineups. What's on tap this year for the fair? Uh, we've got another great lineup. Our staff puts together an awesome lineup of uh, country and western artists as well as, as rock artists. We On Thursday night, we have Joe Nichols, and uh, he's, he has a guest, Stealing Angels, with him. They're going to open up for him. Friday night, we got Tracy Lawrence. Joe Light is opening for him. On Saturday was our rock night with Kansas, uh -huh. and we're going we're gonna to finish the fair off with, uh, with an all-time favorite lady, country and western artist, Joe D. Messina. And they all, they all begin at 8 p.m., in the evening. Now that sounds great. So if I want to get more information on the fair, if I want to buy tickets, uh, what's the best way to do that? Well, it's very easy, Sean. You just go on to www.canningcountyfair.org uh -huh. and you can you can get your uh, p tickets in advance and save some money that way by doing it in advance. And if you really want to save some money, go to Dan Weevil Ford in Napa at the Idaho Center Auto Mall and you can get a, a savings there as well. You should save money in your admission also for the concerts? Yes. yes wow. Sir. So that's the way to go. So more information at County County Fair dot org or Dan Weeble Ford for some discounts. Yes. Very cool. Tim, thank Come you so much. We can't wait for the fair.